boys. This is a little hidden gem in Yanceyville, North Carolina. <laughs> How's it going? Not good. <laughs> Don't ask. Incorporate. Just gonna incorporate. That's a big win. That's a big win. No money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what'll really wake you up on a Thursday morning? Okay, so Lawrence's quick fix for stings and snake bite. You, you, you wear it too much. But it works, and I know y'all think I'm crazy. I forgot to do that thing I'm supposed to do every time I mow. Yeah, you got some grass for sure. Good morning, y'all. I am in my truck, but I'm sitting at a stop sign, not driving. Um, so it has been a busy few days here for sure, for sure. I haven't really recorded anything, but I'm just gonna catch you up on what's been going on. So um, the last few days have been very busy recording, editing, uh, and uploading videos and talks for the Farm Journal Field Days that I mentioned in my last video coming up next week, August 25th, 26th, 27th. And I think they're actually gonna be scattered throughout those three days instead of just the 27th, like I told you in the last video. So go register for that, it's totally free. We did the talks yesterday with Harmless Farmer, Andy Detweiler and my friend Amanda Nigg and with Natalie Kavoric from the Kavorics and our friend, Dr. Marissa Hake and they went really well y'all i'm super excited to share these talks with y'all inspiring encouraging lots of good advice wisdom i think you're really going to enjoy them so make sure you register at farmjournalfielddays.com and come hang out with us next week there's also going to be some uh question and answer sessions so when those go live i will have that information later and you can follow me on instagram and facebook for more updates on that as well so yeah, there's that. I am actually going right now to put on my photographer hat and use my use my big girl camera, which I haven't done in a while. I'm doing some pictures for our county's, uh, one of our county's websites. So I'm super excited about that. I'm going to our county seat, Nancyville, North Kakalaki, North Carolina, excuse me. And uh, maybe I'll show you around that town a little bit. It's a very quaint, cute little town. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. I don't know what else we're doing. I don't even, I don't know what Lawrence is going to be doing. We fed cows, got that done. Uh, we had a cow out. He and Wesley got her up while I changed clothes. And anyway, all's well that ends well, as they say. All right, let's see what we can do, y'all. Beans, 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 lots of beans around. There's our grain bins, which will be taken down soon and moved to the farm, hopefully in the next two weeks. Welcome to Yanceyville. A cute little hardware store. And a really, really, really beautiful courthouse, y'all. That's pretty little gardens around it. Little courtyard square fire department, monument, pretty crepe myrtles. We'll just do a little drive-by, a little drive-by. That's the courthouse. While I'm here, I might as well get out of the truck and walk around a little bit and show you this. This is a little hidden gem in Yanceyville, North Carolina. Wait for it. We have an arboretum, y'all, and it is so pretty. And that's a very, very, very old jail. <laughs> it's kind of neat to look at, though. And I think that's an old church. Hold on. 
I was wrong. It's an old schoolhouse, y'all. It's an old schoolhouse. Petite school. Petite, petite, petite. I might be saying that wrong. How about that? 1913 to 1922. Old petite school. Wow. Be interesting to think about all the little people. Oh. Can you see? can't see in there good. I just tried to go in it, but it's locked. So we're just going to peep through the windows. Look at there. How cool is that? Yeah. So it has this lovely walking trail. I'm pretty sure there's some water. There was a water fountain last time I came down here. Nothing's really blooming right now, but it's really pretty when it is in bloom. Yeah, there you go. Millstone water feature. These millstones are typical of ones found in grist mills in North Carolina. How about that? Check out this pretty little feature. <gasps> that would be a perfect place for somebody to have a really tiny intimate wedding. Oh, love it. This pretty little rock walkway. It really is nice, y'all. Even for a warm day in August. <laughs> this is really pretty. Some of the Black Eyed Susans are still trying to hang on. Like I say, this is a lot prettier when things are in bloom. But still, it's a little gem right here. Castle County, North Carolina. Check it out if you're in the area. That concludes our little walkabout tour. <laughs> I gotta go finish what I'm actually getting paid to do. Taking pictures of some schools. And then head back to the farm. Good day though, it's fun. It's always good to get out, pull my camera out, do some different things, meet some new people in my county that I didn't know. Find out about new resources, and that's what I did this morning, and it was great. Yeah, this is fun. And more beans. My GPS is taking me all over the place, but I've been down some roads I haven't been down, so that's fun. How pretty is that? Wildflowers in an old barn. Okay, I have one more stop. Ooh, looking a hot mess today. Uh, I just had to pull over. I've been without service for a while and I had to pull over in a gas station and answer several emails. <laughs> Someone asked me recently, uh, I can't remember where I got the message. They said, I, when I said something about doing a lot of things and they, they had the impression that I just, I just farmed. But there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I have a lot of stuff going on. It's all good. And I'm, I praise Jesus for it. For all the things and the opportunities. <laughs> but rural internet and rural cell service doesn't help a whole lot. Anyway, it's a great day. Oh my goodness, but the day is going fast. Okay, last stop. Take some photos and get back to the farm. And my stomach is telling me that it's hungry. I guess it is, because it's 1.15 and all I've had today is coffee. Home again, home again, jiggity job. I see the tractor and the cultimulture. Is that what it's called, y'all? That's what a lot of y'all told me. Cultimulcher. Sounds good. I'm going to put it up there. Okay, well, we <laughs> All right, we now. thought we got one of these um, mattresses that comes compressed and then it goes out. And we did the small ones. She needed a full one because this one's too small. So, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Hold on. It's pretty crazy. Look out, Bonnie. Oh, man. This one's not as big a deal as the other one. The other one just popped really bad. <laughs> oh, 
gosh, I stabbed it with a knife. What? It only cut the plastic. Mostly. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Woo. What do you think, Bonnie? I'm Meredith Bernard. I am a farm wife, a mama to two, farmer, <laughs> photographer, blogger, and vlogger now. My channel is This Farm Wife, and a couple years ago decided that I would try my hand at making some videos. There's so many things that farming can teach about life in general, and that's what I like sharing. I like sharing the day-to-day -day struggles and triumphs and relating that to life in general. I just really feel like we all have a lot more in common than we realize. I have people that watch me that are not farmers or never been on a farm, may never step foot on a farm, but I'm able How's it going? Not good. <laughs> Don't ask. We're working on the air condition. Uh, I, heard it, I heard it crank. I heard it. Mm. <laughs> I heard it cranked up a couple times. I can make it work. You can make it work? Well, I'm going to do is tap it. Oh. Oh. You'd rather not have to get out and tap it, huh? Well, <laughs> troll there. I'm thinking it needs a little troll that would get out and tap it and make it work. Well, uh oh, we need to get your other, your new can. You can get empty too. <laughs> new can will get empty too. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what you have to do? Yeah, I gotta fix it if you're gonna stay cool. I know you gotta fix it, babe. <laughs> Do you know what needs to be done? I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try a little rigging and see if it works. Well, that'll match everything else around here. Rigged this way and rigged that way. <laughs> Buddy, maybe we can get in the pool tomorrow. I promised him we'd try to get pool time today, but. AC comes first. What? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's kind of rigged up. He's pointing at all the things that are rigged up. <laughs> what? The tape? The tape isn't... That's just for um, clarification on which one does which. Uh, oh, they fell off and that's why it's there. Yeah. Oh, boy. Turn it off. Turn it off. He said he thinks the coal's getting weak. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. Pop them back. He's off to feed Jingo. It's supper. Jingo has started eating much better. Eating enough where we need to feed him in the morning and night. So that's good. Alright, now I gotta move this toolbox. It's a very heavy toolbox. This thing has to weigh, um, I'd say 100 pounds. I think so. Hey y'all, pool update. This little pool is doing great, I'm not gonna lie. Where's the thing I use? I bought this, um, I don't see it. <laughs> Where you at, little buddy? I bought this, um, it's called a solar ionizer. Look, solar powered, and it has a copper tube in it. Probably need to clean it. And it ionizes the water. And I haven't, <laughs> funny I haven't had to add much chlorine at all to this y'all I just got little tablets floating around in it and it um it keeps it crystal clear it was it works great I might do a salt water system next year I just wanted to get through this season since we didn't have a very long one because we just got it recently 
but that little thing right there works good. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll get in it tomorrow. I haven't been in since that time me and Lawrence got in over a week ago. It's been a busy week. Our tomato weed garden. Oh, I see some. Well, uh, he put some Epsom salt on it the other day and I really think it's helped. There's not near as many with the end rot. Oh my gosh, and I just picked one up that had it. Okay, I lie. What about this one? No, this one's good. Yeah, I'll have to come back with a little bucket. I can't get them all. Put them in my shirt. Wait, I got three. I can't have yours and mine. All right, hold on. So, um, my son's birthday was the other day, which, you know, because I told you that. But, on his actual birthday, well, we celebrated. My dad and my stepmom came up. I cooked hamburgers for lunch. We had a birthday luncheon. And then some things got crazy that afternoon. Some deadlines that I didn't realize were so soon, came so soon, and I had to neglect my family for the rest of the evening and basically the entire next day. Mom guilt right here. I didn't even cook supper on his birthday night. They didn't see me for six to eight hours. So, um, and then I didn't get to cook last night because I had a meeting and then got takeout. But anyway, I asked him what he wanted we're just gonna we're just gonna make this a birthday week, okay? Asked him what he asked asked. That's such a hard word. It's like rural. Well, it's hard to say. Um, I asked him what he wanted, and he said he wanted breakfast, which is awesome. So that's what we're doing. We have a little sausages cooking. We're gonna do some stone ground grits, hot sultry, very good. And I'm gonna make biscuits for the first time in a long time. And y'all. I watched a video. I watched a video of a lady making biscuits this way, and it's how I started doing it. She leaves the flour in her flour bowl. She pours, um, and I'm trying to remember how we do this. We put we put in the lard, and we mix it up, and then we put in the buttermilk, and we mix it up, and it all it all just kind of sticks to itself, and you just leave the leftover flour in the bowl. It works, y'all. I've done it several times now. It's pretty cool. Okay, so see, this is what we're doing. We have our flour, we have our lard that is a little runny because I keep it in the cabinet and it's been warm, it's been warm. So anywho, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna move it around a little bit like so. And then we're gonna take our buttermilk and we're gonna see how this goes. Okay. Something like that. And we're just going to incorporate, just going to incorporate it or mix or blend or whatever you want to call it. Marry. I'm going to marry it. Meredith is marrying the biscuits. Okay. Might not have had enough flour in there. Imagine them. Apples. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. We got some sticky biscuits. This is what we're gonna have is some sticky biscuits. The wetter the better. That's the way it goes, y'all. Okay. Oh boy. Um okay. Anyway, we're just gonna do this. Still messy though. I think I think I need a more flour. We don't wanna mix them too much or they'll be tough. We don't really, really tough biscuits. Okay, whatever. It's all good. All right. I'm patting it out. I'm going to get my biscuit cutter. I'm going to put it in my pan. I'm doing these in the skillet. Let's see what we get. Y'all ain't never seen a pan of biscuits like this, have you? Mm, me either. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta wash my hands. Oh. He said he got it fixed. It was a... Uh... What? Why, why on the alternator? Tell me was it screwed. The alternator won't put that. Won't give the compressor to have both. So it was a relatively easy fix. Yeah. That's good. 
We have air again. And that's good, because it's still hot. It? <laughs> Yay! Happy day, Bonnie. Bonnie's happy. Look at her. She's wagging her tail, smiling. Yeah. You might get some biscuits tonight, Bonnie, if they don't turn out. Yeah, I mean, it, it was... Yeah, I don't see how to track the crank for the last few days. So, it just didn't throw right down a day or two. Hmm. Mm. Well, good. Small wins. Big win. That's a big win. That's a big win. No money. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. Good deal. We're having breakfast for supper. Anything's good. Anything's good. That's what I like to hear. Well, they're not beautiful, but hopefully they'll go down all right. <laughs> I should have got them. They came running. They came running up for their breakfast, didn't they? <laughs> Look that thing's heavy. <laughs> Good job. We've been making the puppies stay at home because they want to chase this calf. But this morning, Bonnie said she really wanted to go and she said she was going to be really good. And so far, she has been. So far, she has been. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, baby girl. wake you up on a Thursday morning. Getting stung on the finger by a wasp. Thought we had them all and I just went right to open it up and nope, that sucker latched on like he didn't want to let go. I'm gonna give the boys some hay. They are leaving in two days. Selling the steers in two days. They're, the buyer is coming, so. That'll cut morning feeding in about half. That's good. Hay's out. Mud's out. <laughs> Sun's not out, but that's okay because it feels really good. Okay, so Lawrence's quick fix for stings and snake bites. I'm gonna let him tell you that. Venomous snake bites. I'm let I'm he's gonna tell you that story in a minute. Is DC current, y'all, and I've never let him shock me. But my finger my finger is continuing to swell up and get hard from my wasp sting. And he promises me that if I let him shock my finger, the sting, with the hot shot, that it will immediately feel better. Well, I didn't say immediately, but it you, doesn't look good. You said immediately. Now he's changing his chain. So anyway, I guess I'll try this. I'll even video it. Okay, you don't say any bad words, and I'm not going to say any bad words. <laughs> where the beast, where the sting is? Okay, right. Put me right. Do you see it? You see that little dot? You can't see. You put your glass. You don't have your Take glasses. this pen and mark it. It's right. It's right. You see that little spot? Right there? Yeah. 
Yeah. Ow. Okay. I'm really not sure about this. This scares me. You, you, you wear it too much. Wait, you're doing it all over it? No, I gotta make a ground. <laughs> okay. Okay, that didn't kill me. <laughs> it's just something about the anticipation of knowing you're gonna it get tickles. shot. It tickles. It did tickle. All right, we'll see if you that helps. You make sure because you jerk me. Got no, me. you got me. I think it got you. Yeah, you got I mean, me. jerk. We'll see how that works. It's not going down yet. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> see my finger? Let me shock it again. It's not normal. I can feel it. I can feel it pulsing. Okay. So that's probably a good sign. Don't do it again. Once is enough. We'll just go with once. I do. I I have to let him tell you the story though, because y'all will appreciate it. This is one of one of his stories that we've all heard a lot of times, but you haven't. Will you tell it for the people just real quick? Hold on. When I was about 15, it was in sports field and one of the hunting magazines, the fishing magazine or something. Else. They were shocking venomous snake bites and bee stings with DC current. The Venomous snake bites and bee stings have a charge, and the DC current is the same charge off the charge. Anyway, you stick two magnets together, north and the south will stick together, but two north and two south won't, and that's what it does. The DC current has the same charge, and it stops the venom from flowing through your body. Well, we had shock dogs. We coon hunted all year long in the summertime and stuff. Dogs get bit by copperheads. Instead of giving them a shot of penicillin and the abscess and all that, as soon as you got bit, we made up jumper cables. We hooked to the block plug wire on the truck and stuff. You have to make a ground. Anyway, we'd shock the dogs. 15 minutes, they'd be back to normal, running wherever they got bit, in the nose, throat. Uh, one even got bit in the rectum, which was the worst one. And he was just about passed out. But anyway, it never got to shock a human. And whatever year the Fran come through. Hurricane Fran. My daddy, he was uh, 75, 77 years old, somewhere along in there. He's going to cut a load of firewood in August. And anyway, he goes up there and he falls. And he didn't see the snake, but the snake bit him on his middle finger right there. Copperhead. He comes back and his hand is about that thick. And he said, uh, what is that? I said, that's a copperhead. I said, can you stand the current off this truck? And I forgot about them little shockers right there. That would have been plain and simple. But anyway, I shocked him off the spark plug off of the truck. In 30 minutes, his hand was that big when he come. In 30 minutes, the swelling was down. And within two hours, he didn't know he'd been snake bit. Woman up the road, she was weeding the flowers the day before. She got bit by a copperhead. They took her thumb off. A buddy of mine got bit on that side trying to catch one to make a hat band out of. And <laughs> he stayed in the hospital three or four days, and his bill was about sixteen, eighteen thousand dollars But it works. And I know y'all think I'm crazy, but <laughs> it works. Oh, there you go. Dr. Bernard. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not dead. I don't know that my finger's any better. Well, you jerked on me. Oh, oh, I jerked, he said. <laughs> oh, if I let him. All right. Well. If I could have shocked you just as soon as you got bit, but just the ball stung you, it works better. The sooner the better. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to be shocked, Dustin? <laughs> You're so crazy. Like, that, that just, it, it, yeah, it, it, it actually, it ain't like it, there's nothing like an electric fence. No, it's not like an electric fence. It's not nearly as hard as That's an electric fence. That's the reason I use them to get the cattle up to shoot because it don't get them all so up. Yeah. Like, it's just a little tickle. Y'all, I have something exciting to show you and something exciting to tell you. First, this. The mule. Hello, Fanger. What are we going to do? We're going to go. This is hard. Hold on. Let me just turn it around. The mule got new shoes today. New kicks. Look, y'all. 
Are we gonna get through some mud this winter? Um, yes, we are. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get any video of them being put on, but here we go. Woo! Fancy, fancy schmancy. All right, that's one thing. And now for the next thing, excuse me. I, uh, I just got in the pool with the kids for the first time in over, well, two weeks. Anyway, they've been begging me and it's just been a really crazy week and I hadn't been able to get it done because there's been too much other stuff going on. So anyway, I just got out of the pool and that's why my hair is wet and I don't have any makeup on, but this is what you got. Um, so I decided today that I was gonna do something with my store for the people in Iowa that have been affected by the storm. And a friend of mine online, Crystal Blend, she goes by Crystal Cattle, uh, had this really great thing that she was doing. She was giving to um, someone who was making freezer meals to give back. There's a three county area that was hit very hard and they've been taking freezer meals to families. Um, they, so far, had been able to serve 55 families, but they ran out of money. So I decided to donate profits from um, profits from sales of shirts in my store for the next two days. This is gonna air hopefully tomorrow. There'll still be another day for you to get in if you want. Um, so, all profits from sales of any and all t-shirts. This is a good one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, but I decided to make it available for all my t-shirts so I didn't run out of anything. There's plenty to choose from, over 30. <laughs> and I'm super excited. I just posted it an hour ago, an hour and a half, two hours ago, and I've already got $500. People are really stepping up. So, if you're interested in that, go buy a t-shirt or two or 10. <laughs> and help with the cause. It's just, it's just a very small thing that I can do to help give back, but I just love seeing how people, especially people in the ag community, rally together to help one another, and it just makes me, it makes me very happy and um, inspired to see how people give and how much people care, so there's that. Now, it's been over a week since the yard has been mowed and she needs it again. So we're gonna go jump start a mower, blow up some tires on it. Maybe we'll get tires for it soon. <laughs> and do some mowing and uh, cook some supper and call it a day. Um, We just put her down, you know what? You know what I forgot to do, y'all? I forgot to do that thing I'm supposed to do every time I mow. Forgot to check the gas and the oil. Shh. Don't tell Lawrence. Well, we have oil. But I have a feeling we, we don't have gas. Whoops. And of course, he's coming home right now. So he's gonna know that I didn't check it. Oh no, that's Wesley. Good. Okay, let me just go get some gas. Oh, shucks, Lawrence came in. He's gonna know. He's gonna know I didn't check the oil. He's a little, he's a little stickler about the oil, but the oil was fine. And as he always says, the gas will take care of itself. And guess what? It did. Yeah. Okay, back at it. So tonight's supper, <laughs> it looks done and it is done. Trust me, it's good. That is a beef chuck roast cooked in the crock pot all day, doused in a little bit of this <laughs> barbecue sauce. I love the name of it. <laughs> South in your mouth. This is from a viewer, Michael. Thank you so much. It's really good. I tasted it and we're going to, I'm going to take this and shred it up and put that all over it. I have some slaw and some fries, and um, yeah, I'm super excited to try a new barbecue sauce from another North Kakalakian. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> of 
Claire, the dog that hates to get a bath. <laughs> <laughs> that one's that one's safe. <laughs> but you're smart to check. I'm gonna turn these girls into another. Look at that sky, y'all. To another pasture. So I just thought we were calling it a night, but we're not. We gotta um, feed a few minerals and move these cows. But it's a beautiful evening. Good little after supper tour time. in front of him. He ain't gonna run over now. you. There you go. <laughs> Daddy May. Dotty, 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 Dotty. We see you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 